Hiya. Yeah. G'day. We're, we're back. Another episode with the VC. Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon anyone will hear you there? You got the microphone pointing away from you. Yeah, I already tested the audio. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're back. We're back here with the VC. We are. We are. Now, we're back uh, here. Yeah, on the last the, episode. Uh, at the hot meat of the pie. This yep. is uh, <laughs> this is good content. Maybe we can get a ten hour loop on that. Uh, <laughs> the last time we were here, yeah. we uh, rewired the entire ECU. Yeah. Obviously of course the help from Hop. Yes. Here, so uh, made made the job very easy for you. Yeah it did. It uh, look terminated loom, Caltech. Um, yeah, if we put that in that fairly easy to do and especially with Hoff's expertise and he just knew where everything already goes anyway so uh, so we were able to just throw that in and um, yeah I, really we pulled out all the old wiring we did uh, put the ECU in and, and turned the key and had it running within half a day really and then it was a lot more tidy all that up put the can pad in and the rest of the bits and pieces another day and then on to the dyno yeah. we have dyno this and um, We'll, we'll talk about that soon. We'll come to that. Yeah. But maybe we'll uh, we'll talk a little bit about um, uh, what we've got here and yeah, uh, talk about the car. Yeah. Hey guys, just need to tell you today's video is sponsored by iPaid. Now, iPaid is something that is a really good platform that I want to recommend, especially when buying and selling used cars. The private marketplace out there on online platforms at the moment can be very risky and it's very easy to be scammed and that's where iPaid comes in. This is an Australian company that you can use to ensure that as a buyer or a seller, you are protected. Let me tell you a story about my recent uh, purchase when I popped into the bank because I needed to get cash out and do this purchase with cash. Now it was quite a large sum of cash to go and buy this car and I've popped into the bank and they've brought out the money to count it in front of all the other customers that were standing there at the counter. I did ask the bank, could we pop into a room or what we could do? Now it was closing time and they said, look, let's wait and we'll, uh, we'll get all the other customers out. Now I had to wait an extra half hour until they got all the customers out and then they could count that cash out. But I was a little skeptical that they were gonna stand beside some people that I had no idea that were gonna watch me walk out with tens of thousands of dollars of cash and out into the car park of a shopping center. Now, don't put yourself in that situation use a platform like iPaid. It's a special digital vault that you can use and uh, it's set up for the buyer and the seller and uh, it's just a great little idea and doesn't put you in a situation like that or open you to be scammed uh, where this will actually hide your uh, bank details and stuff from, from uh, each other. So, But you are assured that you get the payment through and uh, everybody's happy. So check it out, iPaid. Yeah, the cars are... Uh was already had the conversion done. So they'd already worked on that. Uh, all that engine and everything was in there. It had that factory wiring and ECU with all that stuff that we pulled out. Um, the engine though had also been out and been built. So this engine has been built. It was built by um, uh, Robbie Abbott. And uh, yeah, gotta, hang on. RB noise is Tyler, how's that? Um, well, so this is RB40, right? Yeah, yeah, RB40. The, the, uh, the engine was built by Robbie Abbott recently. Um, it, uh, it's like 10th hour over pistons. It's got uh, pistons, rods, um, all the normal bits and pieces. A lot of atomic gear right through. Um, fire rings. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's had, a, had a little bit done to the engine. And realistically, it's a you know a thousand horsepower combo in what's in there. It's um, got a two-speed power glide, uh, trans brakes. It's got a VL uh, diff in it. Um, so you know the bones of this car was all there. It was all very good. We've just done the rewiring, and at the moment, just in the process, we're just fixing up um, some of the the hoses and um, you, you know it was. I, I guess when they did the conversion, they got it done and it was probably going to be a power cruise car or something like that. They, they just threw it all in and, and got it working. Um, but we're just going to tidy some stuff up. So we might have a little bit of a look at that now. So where we're at is all the... All of these got to go in there. So there's a big collection of uh, 
speed flow fittings to go in. And uh, we're currently uh, getting all the hoses and everything replaced. So uh, Dave's doing all that work. He's built uh, built this tank as well. Check out that um, that catch can in process. So uh, yeah, we we'll get all that done, um, and we'll we'll see where we go from there. But uh, we we look to run this at road trip and um, well, yeah, give it a be test. Your best go right road trip. So. Yeah, we'll give it we'll give it a test and see how it goes at road trip. I think um, it's going to be too quick, <laughs> so yes, yeah. I do need to slow it down for, for road trip. Uh, we will eventually turn it up and um, and and tech it. So, yeah. but that's uh, roll cage, suit, all the safety gear, uh, me Fire getting my license, and everything. Yeah, and we'll show all that uh, process, I guess, because that's all new to us and new to me. Yep. Uh, this is a lot more power. Uh, I know what it makes now, um, and it is a lot more power than I've uh, than I'm used to, that I've driven before. So I have a lot to learn yet, and uh, got to learn how to handle it all. So it should be good fun. How about we talk about how much power it made? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you know we've we've set it all up and gone through the whole process, and we've obviously been chatting to Hoff right through and looking at what we got here. Um, the fuel system that's been done as well, so some shots of that. We've got a couple of 044 pumps. Uh, I, and based on what I was told um, when I bought it, you know, they said run a 900 pass um, and would need an extra pump to do a thousand. But we, we looked over it, thought it's pretty much it is a thousand horsepower combo and it has got the ability to do it. But we chucked it on the dyno and let's have a look at a couple of runs now. No time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're so, ready to go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll uh, see what happens. I've, uh, he's, he's made me bolted on myself, so hopefully I've uh, done that part right, and then I'll let him do the rest, eh? And then... Um, you don't want to have a go at the laptop? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. He, he may put the lockout mode on it just to keep me out of it, so... Um, but we'll... Yeah, we'll see how we go on the dyno. He's just cleaned all the injectors. Uh, 2200s, he said, we'll... It, they will be dirty. So basically, um, uh, are known for it. He said so. Before he even starts, he'll just clean them, and we'll we'll go from there. So we've wired in uh, all the Haltec uh, 2500. We've wired in the can pad, wired in the uh, the dash. Um, yeah, every, everything's done there. We're still going to do. We're going to put flex fuel in it yet, uh, and we're going to we're going to wire up the trans brake and. Um, That'll, that'll be done, but we'll, we'll let's get it on a dyno and see how we go. Get a bit of drivability and everything into it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's just, uh, we just let the Hoff do his thing. So, uh, um, he's a, you know, we, we know from everything he does, he's a very skillful tuner and he knows that these Haltecs especially. So, um, if you are after any of this gear, then just get onto him. He, he's a Haltec dealer as well and he's got all the bits and pieces and, uh, uh, yeah, de definitely worth coming out and checking out. Cleveland Dyno. Cleveland Dyno, that's Whoa. the one. Naga Garage. Yeah, have a look at all the other stuff that he is tuning, uh, but let's uh, see what happens here.
Uh, we've done everything. The Hoff has uh, spent a bit of time on the dyno with it, and our, our final run was uh, 862, where our highest run, and uh, that was out of boost. It's out of turbo. Pretty sure it's turbo. There's no more turbo left there. Um, did everything, changed it around, tried a few bits and pieces, and it just, it, same number, 861, yeah. 862. Same, same amount of boost, it wouldn't, yeah. it just wasn't building any more boost, so that yeah. was sort of where, where it finished up. So, uh, yeah, we've tried everything there, and it, and it doesn't have any left in that turbo. Now, we'll give it a run and see how that goes. Right now, 860 is still... It's a big jump. That's, a, that's plenty for me. Yeah. Uh, right you now... You make, what, 650, I think, on gate. Yeah, 650, 670, just on gate. So, um, yeah, but we've got e-throttle control. Uh, there's so much we can do with the Haltech and, and what we've done in there. We can turn it down, you know, uh, plan it. We can put a few more sensors you can on, pull maybe. Throttle and out of it. We can like pull that. the throttle out. That's right. Yeah. So you're not necessarily because you can't pull any more horsepower out of it. We've got to take. We've got to stay at 650s uh, for the eighth at road trip, so we can't go under a 650. Uh, we don't want to get booted off the track, um, and I want to stay safe as well. So yeah, and learn to drive first. Yeah. We, so. can, we can creep up on it. That's, yeah, that's, that's right. The, that's the goodness of having a you know an ECU like the Haltech. Elite 2500 is the amount of control and safeties and whatnot you can put on an engine. Yeah, we might get some uh, suspension done. We'll see. Hopefully, we've got some time. Might do a bit more suspension work on this. It is a bit. It is a bit like a boat at the moment. Hang on. Yeah. Um, you're at, you're rocking on the seas there. Hoff was uh, playing around with the bump uh, on this, and he did say it's just about wheel standing on the bump button. So, so that could be a lot of fun. We'll, uh, we'll see what we do there, but maybe we'll go give it a quick run up to um, uh, Pro Track and see Darren up there. And uh, I actually think of, I think there's a brand new set of shocks actually in the back seat for this that came with it. So, so I had a chat uh, to, uh, which is chatting Travis down at uh, no, no Prep Performance actually, and um, uh, we, we were discussing this because he's currently building a bar out with. A ginormous turbo, uh, and we we're just talking about barrels, and um, and mentioned the actual um, the fact that it was out of turbo, and no prep performance have sent me another turbo, so um, so we've got a 1450 sitting here to go in it, um, but we'll give this a run and we'll, we might compare that and see what we get. So your miles uh, is the, the turbo, so it is a, it's a Chinese turbo. It's supposed to be fairly good quality for a Chinese turbo so we'll we'll see what it does have a have a test fit it in see how that goes but we'll run this first and do a before and after I think is um, and this Probably piping needs is. some work anyway so yeah we'll, we'll redo all that piping at the same time and go from there so back to uh, fitting some hoses we we'll get rid of all the uh, the previous blue and reds and um, all these, all these bits and pieces and Chinese braid and spiky bits. That's all going. And uh, yeah, and Dave will hook all this up with some new hoses and stuff for me. And uh, yeah, should be a bit of, should be fun. This car should be fun. Absolutely. So. Now, how scared of it are you? Oh yeah, it's, it scares me. Yeah. <laughs> should it? I, def oh, I mean, if you're not afraid of it, then, you know. Oh, I'm, not, maybe... I'm not getting in it and going full send on the first pass, I can tell you. No. So, uh, well, that's the I know you guys might want that, but, uh, <laughs> but I, do, I do need to um, preserve some life. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll check it out and we'll have fun. It's a cool car. It's very light, is the other thing. This is a... You know, yeah, there's not a lot of weight to it. There's not a lot of weight to this car. It's going to make a big difference. Right? It's uh, no, it's not an FG forward. Yeah. So. And it's not a VU. You know, you're like losing five or six hundred kilos nearly in weight. I think somewhere around there. It's a fair bit of weight. Yep. That you that you're that that's the difference between the Ute and this, and this makes double the power of the Ute. Yeah, well, so far we've been, yeah, that's right, but so far we've raced the ute and sort of got to where my quickest time was. Uh, Sally's had a race to the ute, she beat me by three, three tenths, 
Yeah. Um, now it's um, uh, three hundredths, was it? I don't know. Somewhere. Yeah, something. She beat me by something. She beat me. Uh, and now we'll, we'll give it another run at road trip, but Tyler, it might be your turn to yeah. take it and see, it see where see you end up. In a, see how I go. Yeah. I could end up the slowest now. <laughs> <laughs> could do. Especially if I nag you about not breaking it and stuff. Hoff, I've got to thank you because you did help me out. I had no idea what I was doing with wiring and everything. And um, and I know you don't do that uh, any anymore. You've, uh, you're you pretty uh, committed to dynoing and you've got plenty of cars coming in here on the dyno. But you helped, uh, helped me out anyway. Yeah, I made an exception and you bought a pretty much plug-in harness. <laughs> so it tempted much, you. <laughs> pretty much plug-in harness. That, that made it a little bit easier. Terminated. And uh, look, I think it was pretty impressive actually the fact that you said, I think you said, Where's it? do we need the instructions? No, through them. Yeah. And then you just started saying, put that through there, pull this yeah. here. You could do it in probably three hours, I reckon. Yeah. Taking the old harness out, putting new one in. If, if you left all the standard sensors in there, we changed all pressure to, you know, yep. all the switch to an all pressure sensor and a few other things. Yeah, so there was just a little bit of wiring. Yep. Um, and then the other day I had to do another half day, basically just doing all the trans brake, solid state relay stuff, bump yep. and all that junk. Uh, and then the can key bad. And then I think you spend more time trying to get the dash out. Yeah, there was a bit of a fiddling yeah. with that, maybe. It was not three hours of time. Um, but from that point, it pretty much just started up, ran, and was ready to change. Yeah. Mm. Now, we were hopeful that it might be a thousand horsepower combo, but. I reckon the engine is a thousand horsepower combo, but for some reason, that turbo. I don't think it's a thousand horsepower turbo. Yeah. It, it pretty much ran out hard at 840, and I had all the duty cycle on the wastegate, and. I don't even think putting more springs in there will make it go any further. It's just there's, there's a flow restriction now, or it just can't provide the air for it. Yep. So I measured the compressor wheel, it's about 76 mil. Maybe it isn't a, you reckon it was a 1450 rated turbo? Yeah, not 100% sure what mm. it was, so. Well, it's not. It doesn't, it do, doesn't it. do it. It doesn't do it. We've worked <laughs> yeah. that out. Yeah. So we know what the limitations are. You've pushed it to that. You've got it there. Do you. Do you you, you know me and what I've driven and what I've done. Do you think I need any That's more than what thing. I got? The, the car needs a lot of finishing. You know, you've got yep. no roll cage. You don't have a brace on the back of the diff. No. Um, the, some of the fabrication in the engine bay needs to be made better. Yep. So realistically, you know, it's going to make more power than what you need now. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I know well, you've got a bigger turbo to go on it. But, but we could do a bit more other stuff to do before yeah. we, we we head down that path. So if it makes an, an honest 840 or whatever it made, I think it was 840 on it. Uh, 8, 860 we got. Don't lose my other that 20. should be a 90 car. Yeah. Maybe an 890 car if it leaves. So you're already, If I can drive it. You're already going to get kicked out from that case. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I'll just, I'll, I'll have to work my way into it. Um, I, I, I've never had a car at this sort of level before, so it will be Tyler a lot to should learn. definitely put a camera on your face for the first. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fairly rapid. Yep. Yeah, and hopefully you do something to the suspension because it's, it's a boat. Yeah, I think I'll go yeah. visit um, ProTrack. So all my cars have had a bit of love from down oh, at yeah. ProTrack. Yeah, it needs something. So um, I'll, I'll probably go there. And actually, this is the only time that I haven't done my suspension first before anything else in a car, so maybe I'd better catch up. The other thing that we might find later is on the dyno, it didn't really show its head, but the converter's pretty loose. Yep. It's on the trans brake really fast. Okay. So whether that is going to end up being converter slip at a thousand foot, I don't know. We'll wait and see. Usually you can tell on the dyno when it's really, really hitting the converter hard, and it wasn't really doing that. So it might be right. Maybe it's just a good converter. We'll just wait and see. Definitely won't need nitrous. <laughs> no, no, I get said no worries. No. Uh, well, well no. look, it's, it's going to be a lot for me to learn and drive, and um, yeah. And we've got a bump, that's another thing you're going to have to learn to do. Yeah. If you, if you want to race it. Well, I've never even had a trans brake car, so mm. so uh, now we've got turbo. I've never had a turbo car. I think Tyler's been telling me I needed boost for a while. Oh, other than Gemini, sorry. Sally, yeah. Gemini. Oh, yeah. It's not quite the same. Um, it's addictive, so good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I did notice that when you were. Um, there was a stage, I think, where you were tuning it when you just started laughing, and I said, what? And you just said, it's going to be funny watching you drive this. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes a really, really big average power, so, you know, it's it's going to be fast. Even if I had 600 at the time, it's still going to be fast. Yeah. And it, I think on waste it was 670, so that was... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the lowest power this thing makes is still going to be quicker than you're allowed to go. <laughs> in, the, in the eighth, even. Yeah. You might have to limit my e-throttle. 
Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. He's looking after me. He'll make sure I don't do anything too stupid. So um, well, you got it there. You can do it. Yeah. And just limit you to eighty percent the whole way and slow it down that way. But we've got a base now. We've got something to work with. There's going to be obviously a lot more I've got to do with this. But this is again much probably better base for me to do something with than the VE that we've been racing in, or you know, if I throw NOS well, or whatever. It's a big heavy car, right? Yeah. You'd lightweight. It's yeah. These things are going to be what thirteen hundred kilo tops. Yeah. With you on it, thirteen fifty. Which is only 100 kilos heavier than that 10. Yeah, there you so, go. Really? Is that all it is? Yeah. That's the only difference. Jeez. Yeah. So between this and the Gemini, you said, well, they're better cars to be doing something with the track. Well, the Commodore was two tons, so you're going to need, what, 1,400 horsepower to go anywhere near where this is going to go. Yeah. With 800. So, plenty of fun for me. It's cheaper. All right. Well, I've got to say, thanks again for helping us out. Right. Um, and you know, I'll, we'll be back in and out. And you, you know, that there's, you're going to see this car a few more times. <laughs> Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'll let you decide. Uh, the next, next one of things, Dave, and doing the exhaust. Yeah. The turbo change. Yep. That won't be me anymore. Nah, cool. And he's already uh, in there cleaning up some of the hoses and getting rid mm. of all the crap fittings. And it was definitely a fire hazard. Yeah. You know. And that's so. one thing, yeah, I don't want to uh, be out there with a safety risk. Yeah. So I do want to stay safe. I'm, I'm going to be dangerous enough with everything else. So, so how far away is road trip? Road trip, we're on uh, November, uh, first weekend of November. So, so it's not even a little bit over a month. Yeah, not much time. <coughs> so, yeah, well, you better get stuck in it then. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Mm. Um, and then we've got uh, December 10. Don't forget the uh, Christmas bash out there. The entries are on, on now on Racer's website if you want to get onto that. Um, jump on, get out there. 150 spots on track, but the show and shine's free. Spectators are free. Crew is free. Uh, there'll be trade stands. If you want a trade stand, get in touch with me. Uh, we're after some trophy sponsors for the show and shine. Get in touch with me and um, we'll see what we can do. And um, off might even bring a couple of cars out. I'll try and bring two. At least two. There you go. You can drive them both. There. And some money to bribe the uh, OHRE guys. <laughs> we'll wait and see. <laughs> All right, mate. No Thank worries. you. See you in the next one. So, we were here to dyno the VC, but now this is making an addition because we've dynoing the gem. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's here. It's here. We may as well run it up. Yeah, we've got to see what's going on on this thing. Uh, don't tell Sally, but uh, what have we done?